Anna has been thinking about having weight loss surgery. She's done a lot of research and found that the two most common procedures are the gastric bypass and the gastric sleeve. However, Anna doesn't know which one's right for her. Gastric bypass and gastric sleeve are very similar procedures. In both cases, the procedures are irreversible, and the expected hospital stay ranges from two to three days. Although the methods differ, both operations reduce the amount of food you can eat before feeling full. In a gastric bypass, a doctor attaches a small pouch to the intestine in order to bypass the stomach. Patients can expect to lose 60 to 80% of excess weight within the first year. Better results are expected on patients with a BMI over 45. And the most common complications consist in the risk of dumping syndrome. In a gastric sleeve, the surgeon removes a portion of the stomach, producing a tube-shaped sleeve. Patients should expect to lose weight at a slower, steadier rate. Better results are expected on patients with a BMI over 30. In an 18-month period, they may lose 60 to 70% of excess weight, with a lower risk of dumping syndrome. Whether you select gastric bypass or gastric sleeve, it's important that you follow a strict post-surgery diet so you can enjoy the results and benefits of both procedures. Both can be effective tools in achieving long-term weight loss. They can help improve obesity-related conditions, including diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, and sleep apnea. So which surgery is better for you? You should work alongside your doctor to choose the best weight loss procedure for you. Typically, your BMI and obesity-related conditions are the main factors that doctors consider when recommending a surgery. The main difference is that the sleeve is a restrictive procedure and the gastric bypass is a malabsorptive procedure. Now, Anna is ready to choose the right surgery and transform her life.